Okay, campers, rise and shine, and don't forget your booties because it's cold out there today. It's cold out there every day. What is this, Miami Beach? Not hardly. You know, you can expect some hazardous travel later today with that, you know, that uh, blizzard thing. That blizzard thing? That blizzard thing? Oh, well, here's the report. The National Weather Service is calling for a big blizzard thing. Yes, they are. But you know, there's another reason why today it's especially exciting. Especially cold. Especially cold. Okay. But the big question on everybody's lips. On their chaplets. On their chaplets, right. Uh, yes, the chaplets. Do chap you think Phil is going to come out and see his shadow? Punxatani Phil. That's right, Woodchuck Chucker. It's Groundhog Day. Hello, and welcome to Really Random Rants. The show where we do. Just that. And it's Groundhog Day. Again. So, today, we thought, what better time than to talk about the movie Groundhog Day, starring Bill Murray. I'm McFly. I'm Victoria. And we're the random people. So, if you're watching this at 6 a.m., then good for you, early bird. 6 a.m. is exactly the time that this movie play takes place, at least for the beginning parts. Yes. Um, so, so are we giving facts or what about? The movie is about a man named Phil, and he um, uh, he is a news reporter, and he's supposed the, to report the uh, weather. He's the weather. Yeah, he's the weather man. But he has to report for Groundhog Day, and some reason his days keep repeating. Mm -hmm. Over and over and over again. Groundhog just keeps repeating itself. And it goes for, what, 33 Yeah, if you do the math, it's 33 years. We did not do the math. Someone else did the yes. math. And we found out. Um, it doesn't get that deep into it in the movie. Yeah. But if you pay attention. It, yeah, it's, it's pretty obvious. Um, I guess. If, if you're really paying attention. Yeah. But, um... Groundhog Day is a great movie, as I said before, starring Bill Murray. And if you've seen um, it before, that's good for you. Uh, I really enjoyed it. If mm -hmm. you haven't seen it before, then go watch it. I mean, today out of all days. It's kind of time travel because his day keeps repeating, but you're not, I'm sure they're showing it on TV. I mean, it is yeah. Groundhog Day after all. And it, well, at the day we filmed this. Yes. I don't know what day it is that you're watching. Um, I can say, though, if you're looking at an explanation why his day keeps repeating, they never say it in the film or explain it whatsoever. It's true. They don't. So, so anyway, um, what do we want to say about this movie? Well, I guess we can say that, um, in an early script for the movie, it had an angry witch in it. <laughs> did not know that. I did not okay, know that either. um. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's one thing about it. <laughs> an angry witch. <laughs> okay, and another thing about it is, um... It's Len. Oh, um, wait, what? It's Len. It's named Lent Military is Boredom. Named military Boredom. Because <laughs> you all know what that is. Ah. <laughs> uh, there's a remake. And a musical. So they I remade might have known it about the musical. But actually, yeah, I I I'll have to did. watch that. But I didn't know they made a remake. So apparently in 2004, remake? called Stork Day, or It's Already Yesterday, which makes no sense considering the implications of the film. Uh, this version is about an egocentric TV documentarian who's trapped in a loop um, hole filming in tenor. So, tenor, right? yeah. I'm sure remake good, but I'm sure the original's better. Mm -hmm. But Groundhog Day the musical? I mean, it would be interesting to watch. But yeah. But it would be weird. Okay. Um. Someone 
pursued the production because the story or the store Lloyd's which is seen frequently in the background of the scenes between Bill and um, Stephen attempted to sue the production I can't see what I'm reading sorry sue the production for several thousand dollars for lost business but failed thanks to their suit asking for far more than they could ever have actually lost in earnings mm -hmm. um next fact it named some streets but not in Punxsutawney um it was not filmed in Punxsutawney <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> Just one one. All right. It was <clears throat> filmed Woodstock, Woodstock, Illinois, 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 and uh, they have different signs throughout town indicating parts of the movie. And the reason they filmed in Woodstock is because they thought that it looked up like a better Punxsutawney than Punxsutawney, mm -hmm. and even Punxsutawneyans, whatever they're called, mm -hmm. they they agreed. <clears throat> I'm losing voice. <clears throat> Tom Hanks was almost Phil Connors, but instead they chose Bill Murray. I that would have been interesting to see. Mm -hmm. I I don't know if um it would have been better or not, but it would have been interesting to see. Yeah. Um. So yeah, the six a.m. thing. The day kept repeating. With the same song, I Got You, Babe, Sony, Sonny, and Cher. Mm -hmm. And then with that whole speech that we gave at the beginning with the campers rise and shine thing. Um, oh, they're going to show Groundhog Day musical in Broadway, on Broadway in 2017. So next year, as of when this was filmed. Yeah. I'm not sure when and everything, but according to this article, I need it anyway. Well, that's interesting. So, you probably won't be able to hear it. We'll try anyway. I got you, babe. I got you, babe. Miami Beach. All right. So another thing. Um, Phineas and Ferb's series finale was based off of this. Now, it was its own original story in the city, but it was based off of it mm -hmm. at the same time. Watch the episode. It's called Last Day of Summer series finale. Phineas. Well, watch the whole show. But but yeah uh, yeah yeah. Um, I'll so watch you, Groundhog Day. Yeah. We'll show you a clip right now from the Phineas and Ferb thing. Yep. Um, you'll have to watch the rest. It's on Netflix. Anators? Why? What does this one do? Ah, that is my do over anator. What's a do over anator? Well, it says do over right in the name. It does the day over again. But I haven't worked out all the kinks yet. Matter of fact, I gotta work out the kinks in a lot of these. A do over anator? <laughs> I know what we're gonna do today. Ugh. And I know what I'm gonna do today. Bust you guys once and for all. Do your worst or your, you know, just make it big and bustable so I could show mom. Wow, that was awfully supportive. Talk about deja vu. You there, boy. What day is it? Why, the last day of summer, of course. Ah, yes! Vanessa's dad's machine. It worked, which means yesterday is today. Another chance to bust the ball! Har, dehar, har. Looks like the zoo's got a new tiger habitat. Good morning, Candace. Mm hmm And so begins the last day of summer. Again. Which, Which means back, back to school, school errands, errands for me and, and making, making the, the most of the day, day for, you. for you. Hey! This is amazing! Today is exactly the same as yesterday. It's repeating! Very existential, darling. You're getting philosophical as you get older. And bustosophical! That's not even a word. It is now. I made it up! Yep. Um, you'll have to watch the rest. It's on Netflix or Disney Channel or whatever you want to watch it on. 
I think there's you might be able to find it on YouTube. Not sure though. So yeah, uh, happy Groundhog's Day. Happy Groundhog Day. And um, a comment below of your favorite, not necessarily your favorite, but a time you had a deja vu moment. Mm hmm. I've had plenty, but. Um, but yes, a deja vu. Bo, a deja vu. Yeah, deja, deja vu, vu moment you have had in the past or in the present or even in the future. Uh, please like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Google Plus. Follow us on Twitter. Um, like our Facebook page. Join the really random fam. And hashtag Deb did it first. Live long and prosper. And have a, May the force be with you. Have a really, really, really random, random day. day. And happy Groundhog's Day. Again.